Table Cakes Nigeria, and I'm your host on Baking You Memories. Welcome to another very exciting moment on this program. This is really a very interesting and exciting season for us at Blue Cakes because this is our anniversary season. Just follow us on our social media platforms, check us on Instagram. We'll have exciting discounts and offers for you this season. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you something really nice. It's called the uh, Caribbean coconut cake. Sounds really exotic. It's going to test even so exotic. So what do we need for this cake? We need... So, first thing we have to do is to put our water in. 175 grams of that. Our sugar super fine sugar we will need to sift this in it is very important to follow the instructions we need to sift this in why is it important to sift you aerate you aerate the mixture by sifting so we'll do that quickly and get it all done all right now that we are done with this we would also need to put in our one and a half teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Now, please, I can't overemphasize the fact that this is really, really, really crucial, that measurement is very key. So I'm gonna use one and a half teaspoon of grated nutmeg. This is one teaspoon and this is half teaspoon. And you know we need the same amount for the baking powder. Now what is self-rising flour? Self-rising flour is different from all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour uh, is one flour you can use for almost every other big. But self-rising flour already has some amount of baking powder in it. So this extra we're adding is just because of the texture we hope to achieve from this Caribbean coconut cake. So, we have that combined, you can start to stir this in a little. So let's crack our eggs. It is ideal to use fresh eggs, like I will always tell you. But then again, you have to be careful. You crack your egg one at a time into a bowl to be sure that, you know, you have fresh eggs that you're using. You don't want to mess it up <laughs> and then feel sorry later. That would be too bad. So. You can see, fresh egg. Three. And then to the last one. So we mix it. Mix it. Why do we bother to mix? To get in some air there. Mix it until it's foamy, and then we pour it into our mixture. Now, this is one very easy recipe. Imagine all of it in there, and then you now stir. Wow! Please, you better try this at home. So, I would advise that you try to get the egg soaked in first, and then go on so now stir you're going to do this continuously beating until you have a smooth mixture so let's go ahead and see how that turns out so once you have a smooth paste like this smooth butter like this you add your uh, two tablespoons of your coconut cream and then you add your 55 grams of unsweetened uh, coconut. Yeah, look at how that is. Uh, so, we blend this in. Stay in. 
then your coconut milk. Now this is also referred to as coconut cream. You stir it because it's usually when you keep it to stand that the bend, so stir it first. And we need just two tablespoons. Wow, this is going to be so tasty, like, we should try this. Wow, your friends will just keep coming to this, you don't understand why. So, let us stir this properly and uh, those lines and smooth. Wow. Now the flavor we have in this, aside the coconut milk and all that, that nutmeg gives that richness from this recipe that you need. It's gonna be really, really nice. Uh, this recipe has a second part. We're gonna go ahead, once this is in the oven, to prepare the filling. So once you've gotten this, let us put this in the pan and then pop it in the oven. So we have to get our pans prepared. What does it mean to prepare the pan? In this case, you have to grease it and line it. We will be needing two six inches pans that we're going to divide our batter into. I've already told you what the batter is. It's a complete mixture of all your ingredients. The finished one is uh, what we call the first one, the batter. So these are our lining sheets, which we've already cut to size. I showed you some time ago in the show. So we're going to, with the aid of a pastry brush, basically brush on the sides and on the bottom of our pans. Now you don't overdo this. At the same time, you try to make sure it is not under too. So you brush the sides. We're going to put this inside of our pans. Wow, sitting down well. Okay side of our pans. Now on this recipe you just have to line the base of the things and just the base. You don't have to do the sides. So let's go ahead to scoop our batter into our prepared pans. Now the temperature for this cake is 180 degrees and for about 25 to 30 minutes it's done. Nice. So what we have to do is pop this in the oven. Remember to always put it to your oven before you put your cakes in there. All right. So we are uh, going to make the filling for this cake. What we're filling? The filling is um, either comes of cream, what you place in between layers of cake. Okay. You spread it on the cake. You put it in between layers, and you know we have two pans now so you see how that goes now what we need for our filling is 140 grams of confectioner's sugar which is mostly referred to as icing sugar it has to be sifted we don't want any sweet stuff there then we need 105 grams of butter margarine and then you need toasted toasted coconut but this is for the topping and then we would need uh, to add Two tablespoons of uh, coconut cream. Three tablespoons, I need to say. So, first up, we add this to this and then the coconut cream. Because when we are doing the layering, that we add our pineapple jelly. This is also jam. Five tablespoons of it. So this is what we'll first start by mixing. Now, if you have a hand mixer, you can use the low speed for this but then you can equally do this manually so let's just get this in first soaked up so before we start beating so as not to have the ingredients flying out and about so continue like this in a very fast motion until we have a smooth, smooth mixture you see that So we have a smooth, smooth, smooth smooth. Yay! So wow, our cakes are all blown and you know properly cooled. I'd like for you to see how it looks and how well you can present them. You can see that it's really crumbly. So we need of a serrated knife. You can just take out the skin neatly. Take out the skin. You see this up surface? Wow. Serrated knife is like a bread knife. Take out the skin, yeah, and then you keep it, you know, the side. This is still edible, so you can just have that for, uh, you know. Oh, 
Okay, nice dive. Okay, so I take out the second one. Take out the skin. This is going to be so tasty. Now remember we have um, on the side, uh, the bottom, our line, uh, our lining paper there, we have to take it off. You can decide that you want to trim the outer side or you can do without. So you can hold this when it is totally cold. Take it out. Nice and easy. To start the pineapple jelly, that is our pineapple jam. We need five tablespoons of that. It's correct. This is really something. Five tablespoons. Imagine all that goodness. You know, pineapple is sweetener kind of fruit, so this will really be nice. Oh gosh. Wow. Then once I'm done with that. I put some portion of my buttercream. Be generous with it. This is for someone who really has a sweet tooth. Then I pack on it. Nice and easy. I want to put my remaining two tablespoons on top first. And then we spread again. And then we have some of it on top. Now I feel we just, what we have is just okay for the size of cake that we have on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to put our toasted coconut on top as a, a topping. Uh, toasted coconut is just after you've, you've grated your coconut and then you allow it to really dry to the point that it is, you know, brown and all of that, light brown at least. So, I want to do this nicely. So, let's see how it is. It's cotton. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, wow. This is going to be so, so, so nice. Uh, now look at that. Wow. Hmm. Let me have a taste of this. Hmm. Wow, oh, this is... Is this great or what? Hmm. You have to be really missing if you don't try this one. You have to be really missing. This is very tasty. So thank you for another wonderful memorable moment on baking new memories. Looking forward to hearing the feedback. Try it at home. I want to hear from you. Call us. Thank you. Ciao.